What's good everybody, welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Today I'm going to show you how to draw smoke with Copic markers. Now the markers you'll need for this video are a colorless blender. And you'll need three grays. You'll need one, two, and three. I'm using the warm grays. Uh, cool grays, toner grays, and neutral grays can also work. But for this one I'm just going to use the warm grays. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take warm gray two. And I'm just going to go over some areas where I want the smoke to be. Because smoke is like visible air. And air doesn't have a definite shape. So when you're coloring smoke with Copic markers, don't worry about it uh, being some sort of shape. Unless you actually outline it and you want it to be that specific shape. But if you're drawing it with Copic markers like I'm doing here, you don't have to worry about it being a certain shape. Unless you actually want it to. And then I'm going to take warm gray one and sort of blend that into each other. Because it's sort of a lighter color. Am I doing that? It gives us room to add uh, the warm gray 3 in some places. And now when you look at it, it kind of looks like a big clutter of just... Uh, and when you look at it, it just looks like a big clutter of just gas. But this is where the warm gray 3 comes in. Because this is our darkest color. We can go in and add some smoke fumes here and there. And then like I mentioned that it looks like a big clutter, we can go in with our colorless blender and go like around the entire clutter just to blend that in with the white of the paper. And you can also blend it in with the uh, marker ink. It really won't matter because it's air and it doesn't have a definite shape. And uh, when you're using this colorless blender on, this, uh, on these grays, you're kind of blending it back into white. And you're also kind of diluting that color. So it won't, it won't really matter. So you can go in with a colorless blender. You can even use a chisel tip to color, color like all over this entire thing. But I'm not going to do that. Because I feel like I'm doing too much if I do that. So I'm just going to use the brush tip and go over it some more. And there. That's how you color smoke. Now let me switch to my other drawing so I can show you how to do it with darker colors. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to draw dark smoke as if this pan has something burning in it. And when you burn something, it's sort of black smoke. So for this part of the tutorial, you're going to need W7, W9, and black. Again, toner grays, cool grays, neutral grays, whatever, those will work for this tutorial. Just it has to be dark colors. So before I get started, I'm just, I just want to let you guys know that earlier I mentioned when you're doing this tutorial with uh, light colors, it doesn't have really a definite shape. But for this part of the tutorial, you're going to have sort of a definite shape that you won't be able to define on your own. So that's why when you're doing it with markers, you can define it just by coloring with your lightest color and then blend. And that way when you're coloring with your lightest dark color, if that made sense, then it'd be easier to like, you know, add the darker colors in. But, um, but if you don't understand what I'm saying now, then just watch the rest of the video so you can get a better understanding so with my w7 i'm just gonna add some smoke fumes coming out of the pan like so and they're kind of going in sort of a v shape i'm just gonna color this in And then with my W9, I'm just going to add some shading parts like right underneath some of these cloudy parts, like so. It kind of does look like a big uh, cloud of something. So I'm just going to add some shading parts like here and there, like you see what I'm doing here. And just a little tiny bit on these other parts here. And then I'm going back with my W7 to help blend that in. And when you're doing this, it may seem that the uh, W9 is uh, not that visible from the W7. Or are uh, not that visible from the new layer of W7. So you may not be able to see much of the original layer. Or, so you might not be able to see much of the uh, W9 in there. So that's why we have a black to help get that even darker. So I'm just going to go over some more of those spots. Or just uh, do that over again, but with a black. 
because the black will be able to see and this W9 first layer that we put down is a lot different from black. So we'll be so we'll be able to tell the difference between black and W7 after we finish blending. But first we're going to go in with W9 and help blend that in with the W7. I'm just going to add some other spots here and there too. And then go back in with W7 and help blend everything back and also get rid of the original streaks that we never got to getting rid of in the first place. And keep in mind that uh, it's okay to go outside the lines because uh, this smoke here doesn't have a definite shape because it's air. So we can go outside the lines however much we want. And then I'm just going to add some more like smoke lines just like that and then a few more touch-ups with the black and we are done so that's how you color smoke with coping markers if you like my video and you found it useful give it a like and a comment subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and I'll see you in my next video I can't let a nigga like